Gareth Bale scored a hat-trick as Zinedine Zidane began his reign as Real Madrid boss with a comprehensive win over Deportivo La Coruna. Karim Benzema claimed his 100th league goal for the club with an early opener in the first game since the departure of previous manager Rafa Benitez. Bale headed the second and found the bottom corner after the break before sealing his treble with another header. Benzema hit a fifth to leave Real two points behind league leaders Barcelona. Barca's comfortable 4-0 victory over Granada put added pressure on Real at the outset, and they could have been behind before Benzema opened the scoring. Deportivo had lost just once in nine league games and started confidently, carving the Real defense wide open to create a chance for Lucas Perez, but his shot was blocked by goalkeeper Kaylor Navas. But from Tony Cruz's 15th-minute corner, Benzema flicked home a Sergio Ramos shot, despite Deportivo's justifiable claims that Bale was offside and interfering with play. Bale doubled the advantage in the 23rd minute, heading home and inviting Danny Carvajal cross. It was almost three before the interval as Ronaldo headed a Bale cross against a post at the culmination of another flowing team move. Ronaldo turned provider after the break to find Bale, who coolly picked his spot from the edge of the area. A richly deserved hat-trick arrived in the 64th minute thanks to another imperious leap to head home from close range. It was Bale's last significant contribution before he was substituted to a standing ovation from the 70,000 crowd in the Santiago Bernabeu, while Ronaldo twice went close to making it five late on. Benzema did just that in stoppage time, following up to find the net off the underside of the bar after Ronaldo had again been denied. Not really. When you take over a side that had lost one of its previous nine games, scoring 36 goals in the process there isn't much need to. There was a low-key acknowledgement of the rapturous welcome received from supporters for the 43-year-old, a couple of modest waves hinted at the Frenchman's desire not to be the center of attention. On this occasion his players certainly did all the talking. The inclusion of the attack-minded Danny Carvajal in defense as one of two changes hinted at the way Zidane wants his full-backs to get forward more. He was repaid when the right-back, in for Danilo, set up the first of Bale's goals. And it was the kind of line-up the fans wanted to see. There remains defensive frailties which would have been fully exploited by a better side than Deportivo. The visitors should have taken the lead and Zidane will have been alarmed at the ease his side allowed crosses into their area, especially in the first half. Plus a lack of communication between his centre-backs needs to be addressed. Of course any side possessing Ronaldo, Bale and Benzema will score goals but, despite the clean sheet, real look vulnerable at the other end. As sporting director of Los Blancos, Zidane was instrumental in the Welshman's record-breaking £85.3 million move to the Bernabeu from Tottenham in 2013 and he will continue to be a centerpiece of the new manager's plans if he keeps producing displays like this. Bale didn't start off too well, and he should have been flagged offside as Benzema claimed Real's first goal. But from that point, the 26-year-old's contribution was wholly positive. He departed to a hero's send-off when substituted towards the end, and the look of envy on Ronaldo's face conveyed how fine a performance it had been. What next? Real have more than a week to prepare for their next game, when they host struggling Sporting Gijón on January 17. It's a quicker turnaround for Deportivo, who welcomed second-tier side Mirandes in the Copa del Rey on Tuesday, following a 1-1 draw in last week's first leg of the last 16 tie.